welcome to the new episode of art for art sake pick for this session is a gray field and we will discuss the importance of gray color in paintings yes you hear me right gray color although i have mentioned my palette is a limited color palette my colors are as follows cadmium yellow alizarin crimson ultramarine blue windsor green and titanium white i'm not going to use these colors directly out of the tube to the canvas since our subject is dominated by gray therefore i have to mix it the easiest way to get gray is by mixing white and black nothing is wrong in doing so but i do want my grays to be harmonious and colorful like an impressionist or colorist painting instead of white and black we can make gray by mixing complementary colors by complementary color what i mean is opposite color in color wheel like red's opposite is green yellow's is violet and blue's goes orange but since i am using a limited palette i have to create secondary colors like orange violet green from that i can easily make colorful gray colors as i mentioned this painting is dominated by grays and i can hardly find any intense color here is only orange it's not the color directly out of the tube here by mixing red and yellow we get orange color still i can't use it directly because the subject is whether dull orange in color of course it is stronger than other gray colors so how can one dull orange color one way to create gray is by mixing black and white and use that as gray but i want my painting to look impressionistic colorful grays colorful shadows like isaac levitan's painting therefore i mix orange complementary color blue to obtain dull orange or toned down orange intensity i know by saying these words doesn't make enough sense one has to mix it and solve himself or herself this is just like to learning to swim no one learns to swim by watching videos or reading books unless one get rid of their comfort zone and start practice period For the sanity of my workflow, I do premix secondary colors before painting, preferably with a palette knife because it is easy to clean the palette knife than brush. Some might do on the go with the brush, but I am a lazy person to do wash brush after each brush stroke. Guys who has experience in using oil colors knows it better. It is a tedious job to clean the brush after each color change. These are not hard and fast rules. I'm sharing the way it works for me. Talking about this painting, I have to come to this spot two consecutive days. The first day I couldn't complete, so ended up on the second day. At the end of the first day, I changed the composition by adding a piled up block to the composition. You can find it on down right side of the canvas. It's there in the location, but not in my frame. Was it necessary to be added? Mm, not exactly, but I find it will help to balance my composition. These things are subjected to artist to artist. End of the day, you are the creator of the painting and you can take the call on where your viewer should look in the painting. And you don't have to copy exactly what you are looking at. Like I have avoided a coconut tree, instead added a piled up log into the painting. That's the main advantage and difference between a painting and a photo. In photography, you don't have the leverage as a painter does. For example, in photography, it's hard to change the composition entirely on the go, but a painter does. Of course, you can do the same for photos in post editing on the computer. I just stated the fact, it doesn't mean painting is greater than photography or vice versa. Both have their own advantages. Going back to the composition part, the reason behind the choices that I made on the composition. You see, this frame contains orange roof motor shed on the left. and the right down on the frame looks empty there is an imbalance on the composition but luckily i got a good element to add the piled up log and you can find i kept one log towards the motor shed that leads the viewer to the main subject motor shed 
that choice was made by me though i am not sure how effective is that in terms of painting that's it for this time guys let me know in the comments what do you think about this painting until next time happy painting